So let's read the question again. It says two trains depart Chicago at 9 a.m., traveling in opposite directions. One train travels westward at 90 miles per hour, while the other train travels eastward at 100 miles per hour. If both trains travel continuously, how far apart will the trains be at 11 a.m.? As you reread word problems, pay attention to what the question's actually asking for. It's saying, how far apart will the trains be? So I want to imagine that I'm one of the conductors of the train, and I'm traveling westward at 90 miles per hour. So if I'm going 90 miles per hour and I start at 9 a.m., after two hours, how far will I have traveled? So two hours at 90 miles per hour each, that would be 180 miles. It's just 90 times two. Now let's imagine we're driving the other train. We're going eastward, the opposite direction, at 100 miles per hour, so slightly faster. After two hours, how far will we have traveled? Okay, well, I'm gonna do 100 miles in one hour, so just like this one, I'm gonna double it. It's 200 miles total. So I travel 200 miles, and then I'm just gonna come back to the part of the question I identified. How far apart will the trains be after the two hours has passed? So I've gotta figure out the distance between this and this. And to do that, you can see it's really easy. I'm just gonna take 180 and add it to 200, so that the correct answer is C. So when you're solving word problems, try to get inside of the problem. Break it down into basic math problems so that you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And wherever possible, use the answer choices to help you eliminate bad choices or plug in. How does this work? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Da, da, da. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's a train. 